All right. Good morning. Greetings, everybody. Good morning to you. Happy Friday. God bless you. Welcome to uh, this fantastic Friday. Welcome to this I Pray broadcast. This is Pastor Jay, and uh, it's another day. And uh, we greet you in the marvelous, wonderful name of Jesus Christ. We declare uh, shalom. We declare peace. Uh, we declare uh, blessings upon you today. Wherever you're watching from today, I want to just say welcome to you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for allowing me to come live on your page today. Uh, greetings, everybody. I want to welcome those in the Atlanta area, Conyers. Uh, welcome those that are in uh, South Florida, those that are all over, that are watching us, joining in, tuning in. Wherever you're watching from today uh, in the nations, we want to welcome you. Uh, just go ahead and just begin uh, to invest in someone's timeline. Let someone know. Uh, to tune in today. Uh, we're excited and we're glad to be with you wherever you are uh, in the nations. If you're in America, if you're outside of America, if you are in the UK, if you're in Africa, uh, God bless you today. Uh, God's blessing and peace uh, upon you. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to give a few minutes uh, for some folks to connect with us. Uh, some shareholders, great morning, great afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. If you're watching this live, uh, we thank you so much for uh, following us, tuning in with us. Good morning, uh, Dizel, good morning, Vivian, uh, everybody that is tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to this morning's broadcast. This is yet another day with Pastor Jay. Uh, great morning, uh, Leslie and everyone tuning in, wherever you're watching from. want to say happy Friday. It is Friday. Uh, if you have been to work all week, we want to say welcome uh, to another day. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Let me get my, my other mobile device up and running. So wherever you're watching from, let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know where you're watching. If you've been blessed by this week's broadcast, let me know if they've been good. Uh, just let us know uh, how we've been impacting and helping you through the week, uh, through the month. If you've been continually, if you're partnering with us and uh, you're a part of this, uh, um, this I Pray community, thank you so much. Uh, for being a part of our community, right? <laughs> uh, this is a great community, and we're glad um, that you are in it. Again, go ahead and connect somebody today. Connect a family member, connect a friend, connect a son or a daughter. Uh, we just want to pray with you and pray for you. Uh, wherever you are today in the nations, uh, we greet you. We know that we have uh, some brothers and sisters in um, South Africa. We have some brothers and sisters in uh, Kenya, Nairobi. We have some brothers and sisters in uh, all parts of the United States um, that are tuning in with us. So as you watch, as you tune, want to say happy, happy uh, Friday to you. It is Friday, and we're glad that you're on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, with my phone this morning but uh if you're on and you're glad to be on today thank you so much uh for tuning in with us god bless you uh malcolm god bless you um sandra miss jean days god bless you today uh wherever you are we welcome you uh as some folks going on going ahead and connect uh go ahead and be a, a share if you are a shareholder and you want to invest in this broadcast uh, go ahead and, and invite somebody, connect somebody. Good morning, Patricia. Uh, we welcome everybody that is tuning in live from South Florida, Miami, 305, wherever you are, Dade County. Uh, we send blessings today. Let me uh, just send uh, greetings to everyone. If you're watching us live, thank you so much for tuning in. It is truly an honor and a blessing to come into your life, to come on your timeline. There we go. Wasn't connected. Good morning, uh, Rosemary. Good morning, uh, uh, Evelyn. Everybody, Brenda, God bless you in Boston. Uh, if you're watching for the first time, thank you so much for tuning in. If somebody uh, invited you, shared you, or is hosting a host party, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging in there with me. I guarantee you, uh, this broadcast today will bless your life. Every 
broadcast that we do, I believe blesses your life. And I believe that it comes into your life uh, to enrich you, to encourage you, uh, to strengthen you uh, and, and give you clarity and direction for this season. Great morning, John. If you're at work, if you're on your way to work, wherever you are, this is a great day uh, to begin your morning. Let's get some people tuned in uh, so you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that arrow, that button that goes uh, to someone else's page, that button that brings someone else in to this uh, broadcast in this community and whatever you're doing Linda we're praying for you good morning Lisa Jackson Pruitt God bless you Candace wherever you are uh, this morning we bless you in Aruba hallelujah all right and so again let's connect some people uh, today want to give you a moment everybody take a moment and uh, invest in someone's timeline today there's a great investment today uh, and we're going to touch and touch uh, basis on uh, the thought of a groundbreaking ceremony. All right. God bless you. Father, we thank you. And we bless you for today. I pray for every person that is tuning in, that is watching, uh, that is preparing and on their way to work. Lord, we ask now in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our Deliverer, our Healer, we pray for every person uh, that is tuning in, that is listening. Lord, give us ears to hear, and Lord, let us see you today. Let us see you high. Let us see you lifted up. Let us see you magnified in our life. God, I thank you for evidence that will follow. I thank you, Father God, for signs, wonders, and miracles. I thank you, Father God, for the words that we speak, that as we speak into uh, these mobile devices, as we speak into homes, cities, as we speak into families, we declare that your word is working. We declare that your word is manifesting. We declare that your word is bringing evidence and results, Father, that you are uh, God and you are amazing. And so, Lord, we exalt you today. We lift you up. We pray for every person that is tuning in. Great morning, Rose, Stacy, uh, Cherie. God bless you this morning. Uh, we welcome everybody. Uh, as you tune in, we're praying with you. As you come in, somebody is praying for your name, for your city, for your family, for whatever it is that you are believing for today. I believe that uh, one minute in prayer and in, in, in the word can change and reorganize, restructure, and reestablish your day. Great morning tip. We bless everyone in Jesus' name. We declare that the end of your week is going to be better than the beginning. We declare and decree uh, that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man or what God Jehovah with Yahweh has in store for you. So somebody, if you believe that today, just, just declare it. I have an expectation that he will do over, above, and beyond what I can ask think or even imagine oh my gosh can you if i if i can imagine what god is thinking about you today i believe that it will be great thoughts i believe that it will be hope that it will be an expected end i believe that it will be purpose i believe that it will be according to his word and so father we pray now for your kingdom to come for your will to be done let it be established in our earth in our city in our latitude our longitude in our bodies I pray that you experience, oh my gosh, the fullness of the kingdom of God in your life. And so we want to welcome you this morning. Welcome. Great morning, Cindy. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Doris. God bless everyone. Lynn, as you tune in, welcome to this I Pray broadcast, this I Pray community. Good morning, Kim. It's good to see you as people are rolling in, connecting in. Make sure you do uh, what is best for someone else and invite them. Be a shareholder impart into their timeline. That's what we call it. We call it an impartation where we can post something that is good, that is great. Good morning, Leslie. God bless you this morning. Everyone, as you tune in, this is Friday, and I want to just say you made it, and we're glad that it's another great Friday. I want to talk and share with you just for a moment um, as we First of all, let's pray for Mozambique. Um, we're praying for our dear friend, Pastor Jose. And uh, right now, uh, we know as far as we know, as of yesterday, Mozambique has been hit again 
with another storm. And so we just pray now uh, for Pastor Jose. We lift up our, our pastor. We lift up our friend. We lift up Iris. We lift up the ministry that we lift up our brothers and sisters. Lord, in this time, uh, we cannot even understand and comprehend. But God, we know that all things work together for the good. And so, Lord, I declare that in Mozambique, Africa, you are getting the glory. Lord, we pray. We cover. We lift up. We thank you, Father God, that you're turning this situation around. Lord, we thank you for the resources. And Lord, we pray uh, for those nations that are aligning with Africa, that are aligning with Mozambique. We pray in Jesus' name for strength. Lord, we cover. Uh, Pastor Joe said we pray that you would give him resources. Lord, we thank you as a body. We cover them now and we send this prayer. In Jesus' name, for the people there, for the children there, uh, for those uh, that have already been that have been lost and devastated, Lord, we pray for divine protection. In Jesus' name, if you don't know where Mozambique is, just Google it. And as you think about it, good morning, Sean. God bless you. Uh, as you think about it, um, just remember Mozambique. I want to say that this morning. Remember. Mozambique. I want you to pray uh, for Mozambique. Uh, if you if you uh, have never been to Africa, make sure you put a pin by Mozambique. And remember, Pastor Jose is spelled almost like Jose, but it's Jose. Um, that is uh, a pastor we know that have been here uh, that we are partnering with, and we want to just lift them up. And then we'll we'll bring more resources. Uh, we'll show. Uh, I don't do a lot of uh, fundraising, but I will. Next week, I'll begin Monday uh, by posting the link how you can go and support um, at least uh, his ministry. It is uh, a genuine ministry. He's a dear pastor and friend of ours. And so we want to show you uh, how you can help just support that. It's just a little bit um, because the support in the building is going to last. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be beyond. Uh, this is not a Hurricane Katrina. And so when you understand the infrastructure and you know some things are not in place uh, to help them recover. And I, I can just tell you, we're blessed in America. If you're in America, yeah, this is America, but I'm glad and I'm I'm blessed. And I'm glad I've lived in a hurricane zone. Let me pray for those. I feel, let me pray for South Florida, those that have been in hurricane zones in Houston, those that have been uh, in Louisiana. I just pray uh, for the coast of America. Father, have mercy and have grace upon us this year in 2019. Lord, we pray for the, the coast, the East Coast. We pray for the Pacific. We pray in Jesus' name. Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you would have mercy upon the coast uh, of, of America, that no storm and no devastation will come in this season of hurricane season, right? In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much. So remember, Pastor Jose in Mozambique, if you don't do anything else, just say you're praying for Mozambique. Thank you so much uh, for those that will commit to that. Let me share something with you. Uh, as I was coming, uh, just just again, um, the Lord really just give me some fresh uh, thoughts and some revelation really for you today. And I want to talk about, good morning, Pastor Valerie. I want to talk about this morning uh, and give you this word. If you're watching this and it's uh, this broadcast is finished and it's the afternoon, uh, and make sure if you're watching, go ahead and invest in somebody's life. Share if you care. Uh, I want to talk about your groundbreaking ceremony. Uh, this is so prophetic and so profound. We know that uh, a groundbreaking ceremony is important. Anytime you're getting ready to develop or getting ready to establish, and this was so prophetic, um, I, I can tell you the Lord spoke this, and I'm not just saying this. Uh, it was so clear. The Lord's good morning, uh, uh, Pastor Edmund, I believe. The Lord said this very clearly. He says, I'm getting ready. Uh, he said, I need you to get ready. He said, because... When Jesus said, Jesus said, tear down this temple and in three days, I'll rebuild it. Uh, watch this. And, and when you build something or you're getting ready to build something, you have a, please pray for health and healing. I see you, uh, allergy. I see you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Um, when you get ready to establish something, um, you have a groundbreaking ceremony. Oh, this is good. A groundbreaking ceremony is this. Let me give you this definition and then I'm going to give you a scripture. A groundbreaking ceremony is a cutting. It is a cutting. Oh, watch this. A groundbreaking ceremony is a cutting. It is a ceremony for cutting. You cut ribbons and you cut the ground. It is for sod cutting or turning 
the first sod uh, when you're getting ready to build something. It is the turning, somebody say the turning of the first sod. A groundbreaking ceremony is for cutting, it's for cutting sod, and it's for turning the first sod. Y'all gonna get this in a moment. This is so prophetic and so profound because you gotta realize this. It's, it's the dirt that we were formed from. Oh my gosh. It's the dirt that we will return to. Um, but if you don't have a groundbreaking ceremony, there won't be a turning of your dirt. There won't be a turning of your sod. Are you getting this? There's going to be some revelation in this this morning. And so a groundbreaking ceremony is a turning. It's the first turning of a sod. And listen what it says right here. It is the first day of construction. A groundbreaking ceremony, it is a, it is a, it is a, um, a gathering for the first day of construction. The Lord said this very clearly. This is the first day of construction for some of you today. This is the first day of a new beginning for building. How many of you know God can't build anything in your life if there's not a turning of the soil? Oh my gosh. If you're getting this this morning, let me see your hearts. Let me see your likes. Let me see your response. Talk to me this morning because I know that this word is going to break open and break forth. See, you can't have a breakthrough without a cutting. Oh my gosh. See, first of all, some of you got to realize you've got to cut away some stuff. You've got to cut the umbilical cord to some sources. You've got to cut away some people. Or oh, when God gets ready to break ground in your life, he get, he cuts. Oh my gosh. He cuts, he cuts, he cuts. Are y'all getting this? I got to go active this morning. I'm trying something today. See, when you, when God is getting ready, let me show you what God is getting ready to do. God is getting ready. Watch this. Do you, do you see that? Do you see that? I think it's over here, right? God is getting ready to cut ground in your life. He's getting ready to break ground. Are you getting this today? When God gets ready to break ground in your life, how many of you know he puts his foot on a thing? Oh my gosh. In other words, he, he presses you in Oh my gosh, he presses in to a place to turn the ground. Are you getting this this morning? I'm going to another level in these broadcasts. I know you need visuals. Can you see that? This is what your day is looking like. Uh, when you begin your day with a groundbreaking ceremony, how many of you know there's a cutting away? Uh, uh, if you like that, say yes, yes, yes. So when you think about a groundbreaking ceremony, it is the first day of construction for a building or a project. God is getting ready to build something in your life. Oh, I love that. God is ready, getting ready to dig it. Uh, there is something that, there, there's a song that used to say, can you dig it? When God is breaking ground in your life. Good morning, Apostle Brancy. Brother, God bless you this morning. When God is breaking territory in your life, how many of you know he has to cut you away? He has to cut, he has to cut your ground out. In other words, he's cutting out territory. And so when God gets ready to break ground, he turns over ground. Let me give you this scripture this morning. If this is good, just stay right there with me. Somebody say he's breaking new ground in my life. He's putting, come on, he's breaking new ground in my life. So welcome to your groundbreaking ceremony. God is getting ready to build something in your life, but you've got to cut. You've got to cut. You've got to cut away the ground. You've got to cut away those places that will hinder you. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. Mark this. And I want to read this in God's word translation. God's word translation in Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. It says break new ground. I love this. Break new ground. Oh let me speak this today. When you break new ground you're getting new territory. You're expanding. God, oh my gosh, God is giving you something. Come on, when you break new ground, he's taking you out of your old ground. See, the problem is a lot of us are still operating from an old ground, an old dirt, an old foundation, a place that needs to be tilled, that needs to be cultivated, that needs to be turned over. And so we're in a season where God wants you to break New ground. He wants you to plow the ground. He wants you to till the ground. He says, break new ground. Plant righteousness. Plant righteousness. We're reading this morning God's word translation. He says, plant righteousness and harvest the fruit that your loyalty will produce 
for me. This is what God is saying. He says, when you get ready to break ground, I want to give you this nugget right here. When you get ready to break down, break ground, it requires loyalty. Uh, this is a word that's not preached. This is a subject that's not taught on. See, there's a lack of loyalty in the body because people aren't willing, come on, to get dirty. People aren't willing, come on, to, to dig. Oh my gosh, when you dig, see, we love to be rooted and grounded, but nothing is rooted and grounded in your life unless you're willing to break ground. See, the problem is we love the soil. We're like, everything is okay. The grass, you might mess up the grass, but God is saying, I want to turn some things over in your life, and I want to cut out some things in your life, and you will never get a harvest. Uh, unless you understand the power of loyalty being what are you loyal when you're loyal God can break come on he can bring forth a produce in your life production in order to break ground in order to get a produce you got to break ground in order to be productive you've got to break ground oh my god in order to build You've got to break down. Let me pre preach and prophesy to some builders today, some apostolic prophetic people, some business people, some people that know how to build. When you are a builder, how many of you know? You've got to understand there are some cornerstones that are going to be rejected. Oh my gosh. Everything about Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection was about breaking new ground, breaking us into new territory. Come on. Do you know that the Holy Spirit is our project manager? You can't break ground without a project manager. Manager. Ha. My gosh, that's why he said, I'm going to leave you a teacher. I'm going to leave you a comforter. And so when, when God gets ready to break ground in your life, you can't break ground without a project manager. Oh my gosh, this is so good today. Somebody say, I'm breaking ground. Is this good? Somebody say, I'm going to break ground in my life. So in other words, put your foot to the shovel and dig. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I hear this word today. Some of you don't even realize you've been assigned to be grave diggers. Break ground. Break ground. See, Jesus, oh my gosh, represented the grave diggers. And so if you're going to resurrect anything dead, you've got to be willing to break ground. Are you getting this this morning? Watch this. The scripture goes on and say, he says, he says, break new ground, plant righteousness and harvest the fruit that your loyalty will produce for me. Then he says, it's time to seek the Lord. When he comes, he will rain righteousness on you. And I'm reading again, Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. He, he's uh, uh, God's word. He says, it's time to seek the Lord. When we seek the Lord, this is how we break new ground. You will never break into another realm. You will never break into another dimension. You will never break into a revelation until you know the timing of God. We started this week out talking about the set time of God. We know that the feast, Passover, is a set time. And God is using this set time to seek the Lord. When you seek the Lord, you begin to break into new territory. Oh, this is too much today. Somebody say, I'm breaking ground today. Watch this. This is very important. I'm going to give you some steps to breaking ground, and I'm going to wrap this up right here. This is good right here. If you're getting this this morning, say yes. It's important. Step number one, if you are going to break ground, I'm going to give you this right here. If you're going to break ground, you've got to know the timing. Number one, you've got to know the timing. You've got to know the set time. You've got to understand when it, you don't dig anytime. You've got to understand, in other words, you've got to go through the process to break ground. You can't just buy land without going through the process. What is the process? You've got to get permits and you've got to have plans. Oh my gosh. You've got to get permits and you've got to have plans. Some of us are not permitted to break ground. Oh my gosh. See, if your life isn't lined up with where God is taking you, you do not have a permit to break ground. That's the problem with a lot of us. Sometimes we try to break ground that we haven't been permitted for. In other words, you haven't been anointed, you haven't been appointed, and you definitely haven't been processed. You haven't gone through the process of being worthy to break ground. You haven't paid the price for breaking ground. See, everybody is not called to break ground. That's why when you understand the apostolic and the prophetic, see, there are many apostles and there are many prophets and there are many people that are doing great things. But if you don't have the permit, what is the permit? It's the affirmation, it's the validation, it's the assignment that says you have been chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Only a few are chosen 
to break ground. Oh my gosh. If we had everybody breaking grounds without permits, what would your building look like? Oh my gosh. What would your life... See, some of our lives are out of shape, out of whack, and out of control because you have tried to build on ground that you have not been permitted for. Oh my gosh. I've got to stop this this morning. This is too much. I said some of us are trying to build and your life is out of whack out of alignment and so sometimes you've got to realize in order to break ground number two you're going to love this you've got to remove the debris you've got to remove the stones see oh my gosh the, the disciples could never get a revelation of the building of the temple until the stone was removed I, I, i'm going to stop right here i cannot give you all of this revelation i feel like preaching this on sunday watch this now you got to get this until the stones are removed see see until the stones the debris until the debris is moved you will never have cornerstones and sometimes you've got to remove the stones in your life. What are the stones? The stones are the haters. The stones is your doubt. The stones is your fear. See, when you rem the stones is your blocker. What is blocking your your blessing? Sometimes it's the debris. Sometimes it's people, places, and things. Oh my gosh. So if you're going to break ground, it's important. You've got to remove the stone. Is this good? Are y'all getting this? I love this right here. I love this opportunity to display to you. Remove the stones. Remove the borders. Remove the blockages. When you begin to remove the stones, watch this. You'll have a harvest of fruitfulness. You can be productive. But I'm going to tell you this. To remove stones in your life, you've got to be loyal. How many of you know? Sometimes it's like bedrock. Oh, you've got to work that thing. You've got to, you got to get some, there are some stones you can't move by yourself. There are some stones that need to be dug out. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to say it again. If you don't have a permit, you cannot remove certain stones. I got to stop right here this morning. Somebody say, I'm removing the debris. In order to break ground, you've got to, you've got to remove the trees. You've got to remove the blockages. You've got to remove those things. And I'm going to tell you, you've got to remove the mindsets. You've got to remove the mindsets. You've got to remove the lack of faith. You've got to remove, come on, the confusion. God is not the author of confusion. A lot of us have tried to break ground and have run into confusion. You know why some projects, some build, some things that God have called us to build have been delayed? It's because you have not removed the stones. Are you with me this morning? I got to wrap this up. Look, this has been good this morning. If you've been blessed by this message, you know what to do. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. But invest this message in someone's life. Hit that share button and here to be a shareholder, to be a blessing to someone's day. We declare that this word has brought you into your groundbreaking ceremony. I, I've got so much revelation on this and I will probably continue it. I don't know, but I want you to be blessed by this word. Be encouraged. Know this as always. Your giants are defeated. Your Red Seas are opening and your Jericho walls are coming down. I want you to have a fantastic Friday, fantastic weekend. And we declare that God is breaking new ground and new territory in your life. Have a wonderful day, beloved. God bless you. Bye for now. Shalom. Shalom.